Block Dissolve can be found under the Transition category, and just like any other transition, when I apply it to my layer, we have a transition completion slider. If I increase this from zero to 100, the image dissolves into whatever's behind it. It just gets rid of the layer completely, so it's totally transparent and displays whatever is underneath that layer. Now, if I zoom in nice and close and turn this transition completion back a little bit, you can see that this transition is actually made up of a bunch of little blocks, but it's hard to see in this HD frame. So I'm gonna go to the block width and height and just change these to 10 by 10 so we can see those blocks a little bit more clearly. Now they are very soft, and the reason for that is if we go down to this checkbox right here, soft edges, which it claims is the best quality, is checked. But I don't really like this look, so I'm gonna uncheck soft edges. We get these crisp, clean, non-anti-aliasing blocks that are totally sharp, and we can increase the block width to whatever we want. If we wanna make it nice and big, chunky blocks, now we have this very digital looking transition, and we can drive it with that transition completion slider. We also have the ability to introduce some feathering if we want to make it a little bit softer or a lot softer. That is a control we have, but that's all you need to know about Block Dissolve. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.